were a time when the machines were predictable as Ronora. I'm the mournful Naman. My apologies that we meet like this. Like this? In grief. You hold yours close, like a talisman. Wait, forgive me. You didn't come for reparations? Someone you lost to the Sun Ring? Oh, no. I know about the Red Raids, but the Karja owe me nothing. I see. Well, I could use the help of a strong-willed outlander. Then I would owe you very much indeed. These people seek to honor their loved, their lost, with their own voices. Not mouthing Karja rituals to Karja stone. But there are obstacles. While Meridian holds its breath for any disturbance, these robes only tie my hands. Uh, what kind of obstacles? The first pilgrim is an Asaram, who seeks to visit the Shrine of Kings on the road to the city. He waits there now, forbidden to enter by an old sun priest who suffer no heathen. This Utaro lost her companion on the edge of the jewel, at a pool where snap moths gather. The shrine was built there to ward off the machines, and its effectiveness leaves much to be desired. And the Manuk would paint a mark on the sun's climb, a call to the machine spirits, I understand. They need no beckoning. Flint hawks perched there, drawn to the spires shining. So clear the machines out of two shrines and move a priest out of the other. All I can ask for is your charity and that their stories are heard. Naman, rituals and prayers can't bring back those who are lost. No, but it can help those who grieve to find themselves. It can lend them strength and hope, like a new sunrise. I didn't think your priesthood would ask outsiders for help. If only the sun would set on our pride. Until this is done, I am no sun priest. To wear a red robe was an aspiration. I aspired. Now our hoods make us blind. We whisper reconciliation, but forget how the old king's priests sang the words and blessed the killing. The killing? You mean the Red Raids? Yes. And the sacrifices that came after. Why did the priests go along with all that bloodshed? Sometimes we Karja are more concerned with what is tradition than what is right. Huh. Maybe the Karja and Nora aren't so different. You're disappointed with the Sun Priests, but you still wanted to be one? I spent my whole life looking up to the temple. My brother's voice echoing in his arches. Even he couldn't turn me away, and how he tried, in the end. He said, when we were loved, our robes were dyed in cinnabar. Now they are stained in blood. How so? Our robes are handed down to us. Most of the old priests fled rather than be seen in the glare of a new sun. And so we are left to wear their sins. For me, at least, they hang heavy. Where is your brother now? He waits for me on the trail of the sun, I hope. He spoke out against the sacrifices. For a priest to question the Sun King's will, his punishment was worst of all. You lost someone you loved, too. I'm sorry. No, not lost. When I took on these robes, I found his memory. I'll do what I can to help those in mourning. To honor their memories is to honor us all.
moneyed adventurers, preferably with no friends or family. what I have for sale, I promise. These are good recipes. Would you like to buy something today? Don't forget to stock up. My daughter's made friends with some Osaram girls from down the road. Could you spare a moment to speak of the finer things? Ah, you're back. Did you bring me something lovely? Ah, let us haggle over this beautiful bounty. Till we meet again, my noble Nora. Everyone needs a splash of color in their lives. Come, let's talk it over. This is where the Otaru wanted to say her goodbyes.
I'll shake it out later. When we fled from our cages during the liberation, I tore through this clearing, thinking my friend was behind me. I kept running, but here she remains. Thank you for making it safe for me to return. I don't want to rush you, but it won't stay safe for long. I understand. I've done this before in waking dreams. In the pool, I'll find the bracelet of seeds she dropped when she fell. The seeds will be split, escaped, grown wild. She's passing from my memory into the jungles. I'll tell her it was I who died here and became a stranger in our own land. And she who still lives in every time of planting, of rains, harvests, and... Oh. What is it? There. Her bracelet. And... I thought she was behind me. But there's only my reflection. Do you need to be alone? For the first time. I am.
let your guard down. This must be the Shrine of Kings that Naman told me about. You won't get in there. That dried up old prune in a robe sees to that. I can be persuasive. But what does an Osram want with a Karja shrine anyway? It reminds me of someone. Gone two years now. But what does a girl like you know of loss? Try me. I had a lover. Worked on monuments to their bastard king. Then he gave them a show in their sun ring for good measure. The Karja gave me back his broken bones, but what use are they? They won't build again. They won't make me smile. And seeing a statue of the Mad Sun King will? I, I need to see his work again. The marks his hands carved. The set of the metals they hammered. That's the soul of him. But that shriveled up old priest won't let me near it. I'll see what I can do. Turn away, child. The abiding Jahaman wishes to be alone in his retreat. If you want to be alone, go someplace else. Others want to pray here. Defile it, you mean? Yet another debasement of what was once pure. Truly, our tribe has lost the light. Our king is false, our temple is corrupt, and our soldiers weak. The sun hastens across the sky for shame. So the Karja have become impure? What does that even mean? Is Meridian not meant for those who built it, who made it great? It was pure before outlander squatters took it over. You mean Meridian was pure when the outsiders were in cages or dying in your arena? The sun is pure, child. It is not our place to question its divine will, only to act upon it. I thought Avad taking the throne was the sun's will. The boy dishonored his father, dishonored us all. To kill a Sun King, what shadow, what twilight time he brought upon us. And how many more would the mad Sun King have killed if Avad hadn't stopped him? The sun called for blood. There was no choice but to obey. You called the temple corrupt, but aren't you one of its priests? They call themselves Sun Priests, but they have no authority. Youths and sycophants all. Yet those who gave their whole lives to the sun's service are shamed and ignored. So that's what this is. A tantrum? A cry for attention? You know nothing of our rights, and yet you dare to insult me! Why do you think your army is weak? Because you're not at war with everyone? A Karja throne relying on forged dirt mercenaries? Preposterous! The so-called liberation was nothing but a purge. Our most blessed warriors, chased out of the city, exiled to Sunfall and the Forbidden West. Our tribe is torn. The ones who walked in light now go by shadow. And yet everyone but you seems happy they're gone. I'm done arguing with you. Stay or go, but I won't allow you to keep others away. I am here by the will of the sun. You believe in the old regime, but not enough to die for it or be exiled. That's some conviction. Heathen. My conviction blazes like the noonday light. Then stop me from bringing in the Osram. I... I cannot. I thought so. There'll be a reckoning. You'll back away from it. Make no mistake. The Vanguard have earned our positions in the sun. Oh, 
charge it. Just like them. He gave them the best work he'd ever do. And look at it now. They defaced it because they hated what it stood for. They defaced a thing slaves like him lived and died for. Slaves they've already forgotten. Short-sighted bastards the lot. If they thought their son set off this bridge, they'd jump after it. I thank you for honoring my wish. I hope you can find peace. I wouldn't know what to do with it, any more than the Karja do. Here's what I don't get about the sun. These fancy decorations everywhere. It's downright embarrassing. Is it just me, or do Karja people walk slow? They have places to be. I'd like an opportunity. sacred land. Climb, where the Banuk wants to paint his mark.
they're angry. You are a better hunter than I. I'll paint the mark while the spirits of the Glinthawks linger. There'll be more where they came from. Yes, there will always be more machines. Their spirits find new bodies, but we only last as long as memory. That's why I must leave this story. A monument to our vanished shamans, To the wisdom the Karja bled from us. The machine oil in the paint will preserve it. Preserve their memory against all that was cut away. You have my thanks, Hunter. So you've come back to the temple. I was invited back. The priests wanted to hear what I had to say about reconciliation with the other tribes. They're listening. At least they've begun to listen. There's a distance between ears and beads. Because of what we did? What you did. It was for the mourners. I think it helped them. You set them on the path. You can't know what their journeys hold. Such is the priest's lot. Perhaps a red robe would suit you. <laughs> Not me. Besides, your temple doesn't even take women. We would be richer if we did. Go in light, my friend. And let the sun cast your way. Thank you, Naman. Where I'm going, I could probably use all the light I can get. Tell me what happened to your family. Maybe I can help. By the sun, I fear they are all dead by now. I barely escaped alive. Machines. Vicious machines attacked my family's estate. Father sent me to get help. What kind of machines? Where did they come from? A ravager. By the sun, how it cut down those guards, and a pack of watchers came with it. The Sun King warned us that he could no longer protect freeholds beyond the valley, but... Father never saw this coming. Tell me more about the estate. My father owns a dozen quarries, and he's put his spoils into the estate. Fine tapestries, custom woodwork, silver fixtures. But what about the people there? Of course. Their lives are all that matter. My father and sister, plus a dozen guards and servants. I hope they survived. 
I'll see what I can do about the estate. You will? Oh, thank you. Well, please, be careful. Those machines are deadly. An old remedy. Grab this now. Oh. 
This must be Ronaman's family estate. Machines attack without warning. I need to get in there and look at that thing. Thank <laughs> you. 
thank you. I didn't really believe anyone was coming for me. I think everyone else is dead. Tell me what happened when the machines attacked. There were screams. I came running, like dolls. My father pushed me into the larder. I heard him kill a watcher. Then, blasts from the Ravager's cannon. Silence. I tried opening the door, but he'd locked me in. He saved your life. And I'll never be able to thank him. Do you have any idea where the machines came from, or why they attacked so suddenly? We've been seeing more and more machines around here every year. That's why my father hired more guards. But they've never attacked like this before. I have no idea what caused it. Stay here. I'm gonna have a look around. I will. I need to take a moment with my father. That device is sending out a signal. Could be what attracted the machines. Okay, that should cut the signal. But someone put this here to call on the machines and kill everyone on the estate. First there was gambling, then stealing, then extortion. He swore vengeance when my father kicked him out. It was Ranamon who begged me to come. He needed the machines cleared out to claim the property. We can't let him. That murderous snake. Can't let me do what, sister? Claim my inheritance? We shared a crash, murderer. Have you no honor? Oh, I guess not. But I will have this estate. When you meet father in the next life, tell him I'm enjoying his money. As for you, this little device will summon more machines. A lot easier than killing him myself. <laughs>
I'm glad there are good people like you in the world. It helps to make up for scum like my brother. My father was always generous in his gratitude. A family tradition I would like to continue. Take this. I hope it will help you in your travels. Take a look. I'll give you a good price. Oh, there's still so much to do. In the days and the Metal bot here, good prices, fair prices. Fairest prices for machine parts under the Mesa. No tithes to the Sun Court. Not like those greedy snarls upside. She's not interested in taxes. I know what she's not interested in. As I was saying, no better offer for snap ball lenses. I'd give my oath on it. By the sun, don't start spitting in your palm. Huntress, I apologize on behalf of my partner. Silent partner. Silent partner? If the sun would only grant my prayers. Never mind snap more lenses, Huntress. There's no market for those. A long leg lens, though, you'd be well rewarded for. So which, uh... No market for a snap maw lens is good, strong stuff. You can hammer it into anything. Where do you think we are? Some trading post with sawdust on the floor? This is Meridian. We have culture. I know culture. Just the other day I was watching the hunting trials. Oh, great sun, lend me the strength of midday. The sun's baked your head if you think we'll shift long leg lenses at a time like this. Uh, hello? I've told you as many times as the spire is tall, craft and artisanship is who we are. Craft doesn't win a war or keep the machines from your farms. What you need is good, old-fashioned, plain... Oh, yes. Old-fashioned, plain, hammered work. If ever something glittered, you'd throw it back. If Karja had built that elevator, they would have stopped at a good-looking shaft. All those years of delving, and you never found a sense of humor. Hides to the Sun Court, like I said in the beginning, Renine. Just... just tell me which part you want. A long leg lens. A snap maw lens. Fine. I can see that you're busy. Wait, wait! You drove her off. Snap maw lens, what do you say? I drove her off. <laughs> That's rich. Listen, Huntress, long leg lens. Hunters, scroungers, bring us your metal. Scroungers? What kind of brutes are you... I brought you both the parts. So, what do you say? I don't suppose I could buy just the one. You'd buy the wrong one. So give the hunter her shards for both. Of course, of course. Here you are. If this is the price I have to pay... The price you have to pay? The snap maw lens might just cover the loss we take on the other. It won't sell for a loss, charcoal burner. You'd pay handsomely for a long leg lens if you had an imagination. I have an imagination. When you rattle that piece of junk around, I think of your skull. I told you from the beginning this wouldn't be a scrap-dealing operation, that we would have class. 